But we're here this morning on the uh, on the Mekong River front in Nong Kai, and it is absolutely freezing by Thai standards. It's about 20 degrees centigrade. <laughs> I wish I had a jumper. And now we're at Tarsadet, and when I, the first time I come to Nong Kai, which was 31 years ago, they didn't used to have the bridge, the big friendship bridge. It was just used to be like little ferries, and they used to leave from here. And they used to like, you used to see them like shooting little boats, shooting across the river with red flags on them. And uh, this was it. This was the old crossing point into Laos. Right, I'd like to introduce you to John. John has been coming to Thailand for about 20 years now. Is that, is that right, John? Yes. But he's a, he's a dedicated party animal. <laughs> yes. And he said that he's never been out of Pattaya or Bangkok. So he just said to me, he said, Carl, I want you to show me the real Thailand. And he's been training. He's, yeah. Got, yeah. he's, he's lost ready. a lot of weight. How much have you lost? Uh, just short of four stone. Four stone he's lost. So he's been in training. He wants to see the real Thailand. Let's see what we can do. I got here on the 11th of December and I started fasting one meal a day. And then obviously the exercise and the ladies, that's how you lose your weight, guys. <laughs> And now we've come to Puprabad Historical Park, which is about just over an hour outside of, hours drive outside of Nong Kai. And it's, uh, it's like a mountainside with lots of kind of strange rock formations on it. And, uh, you know, uh, evidence of historical living going back about 5,000 years. I've got things like cave paintings and it's just a kind of, you know, kind of like really kind of photogenic, unusual spot. Thing to bear in mind, it is just so. I've been here a few times and it's just so easy to get lost here. So, they do give you maps as you come in, they give you maps for free, and uh, I'll definitely suggest that you pick one up. Yeah, this is a stained stuff here, isn't it? Wow, that's a proper natural. Yeah. Thing. So you can you can see here where it looks like it's a natural rock formation, but then this bit underneath is definitely man created. You know, it was the uh, forming some kind of shelter. This cannot be safe back here. <laughs> I don't see you in here. Yeah. I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> today. So what do you think, guys? How much of it's natural? How much of it is man created? Right? Yeah. yeah. So you're right, why not build an actual wooden house? It doesn't yeah. it's it's a mystery wrapped up in a conundrum, wrapped up in a riddle. <laughs> I think it's just I think it's just that people and civilizations are just drawn to strange, unusual places, you know? I mean this chat this this does seem like a special place, doesn't it? And I think they said that when people came here a thousand years ago they found loads of the shit was already here. Exactly. So you're right, they get drawn here, don't they? Yeah, you know, people just get drawn to certain spots, you know, be it like natural beauty or just if it's unusual. A thousand years ago, it had a, a wooden front with a window in it. <laughs> no, but it could have. It actually could have. Yeah, yeah, it could have. Right, so let's think for a minute. Stone, stone circles, right? Stone circles, right? You've got stone ends and everything. Well, yeah. What's this? Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's a stone circle that goes round that. What makes that so special? Yeah. Wow. Let's blow it up and see if there's some treasure inside. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is erosion, you know, it it's, it, it's been done it and the wind and the rain has eroded yeah. the rocks because you can see when you look on the ground, you can see that naturally some of it is in slabs, you know, that's what's happened I think over that's... millions of years, just wind and rain erosion. Look, it's actually, yeah, it's actually very be... soft, yeah. You know, if, if, if it is erosion then, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Because like the, you've got the soft stuff and, yeah. and you've got the hard stuff, so the soft stuff is yeah. just disappearing. Like it might not be erosion. Yeah, that's what you know, it is. It could be. A bit nice, yeah, it's a nice little staircase. Nice so you can get up and get different perspectives on it. Hopefully you can see the rock paintings there. Can you see, like, it looks like a couple of, uh, looks like a couple of buffalo in that little, should be like bang center screen now. Yeah. Someone's gonna find the glasses and say, 5,000 years ago they wore sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, I'll get them around there, mate. I'll get them. That's, that's pretty incredible, this one. What do you mean, just in its depth or? No, just the, just the style of it. It's right
It's like a load of alien, oh. aliens have just turned up, mate. <laughs> Look. It's very athletic, there, yeah, John. Because <laughs> I've got a rock sack on the back. Yeah, and a sniper. Yeah. Right, I'm sniping over here, though. I've got to get in there, though. Fuck. Oh, shit. And, uh, oh, Jimmy. Jimmy has dropped his sunglasses, so he's, uh, he's on a mission to find them. This one here is amazing. Amazing. Look at see all these uh, stylized paintings of people. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Very strange, very strange. And on top of that there we've got Brilliant. A live one. <laughs> Did Jimmy find his sunglasses? Hey, Brilliant, go, that's mate. it. <laughs> my, my theory is that in a former life, Jimmy was a caveman estate agent. I was. <laughs> uh, I he, went, he went around exploring <laughs> properties and poking his head in caves. And location, location, and, location. Yeah, location, that's it. Nothing changes, does it? Sure, <laughs> sure he's just not... I'm sure he's just not looking for his next squats. <laughs> <laughs> so just in case you thought you're going to see your first Carl's Thailand episode that doesn't have a hill or a mountain, <laughs> well, you're wrong. We found one. You're sorely mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> It's just trying to kill me. <laughs> Woo. Wow. Hey, look at this. The cliff. Wow. My gosh. That is just terrible. Look down there. Wow. Sheer drop. I just put my bag down for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And if you make your way up the up the mountain, the reward is you come to this lovely little open cliff that's got a shelter where you can have something to eat, stop and have something to drink, and got nice little rocks that you can use as uh, viewpoints, and nice view over the valley over there. And I just put up the drone, get a bit of footage. Be interesting to see how that turns out. Let's have a look up across these rocks. Lovely, lovely little spot. down from the cliff it's a bit rocky but uh they've got nice little markers yeah like this type of thing just to set you off in the right direction it's sticky rock though not slippy rock you shouldn't say things like that I shouldn't, I shouldn't. <laughs> it feels like sticky rock is he a fucking wizard or something? Every time he speaks, I trip up. <laughs> I'm looking for fire. We find fire. <laughs> oh god, we find fire. Yeah. Jimmy's cigarettes. And we have fire. <laughs> Proper little flat bit here as well at the top. Right. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Find a way down now. Oh. It's, uh, it's... And so the sign tells us that this place here was actually a hunter's hide where they could wait and ambush animals. They waited here to pick up animals with their bows and arrows and shit. They would get in there, the, like the animal would walk along, they would. Yeah, so that animal yeah. And they could shoot all sides. Yeah. And that's what it means. Nipran means uh, poacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nipran. Yeah. So here's the poacher's shelter. Then, yeah. Where they used to lie in wait with their bows and arrows and stuff, or rocks, to get wild animals or, or animals for food. Wow, that's pretty incredible. So.
Look at John getting all athletic. <laughs> <laughs> Animals! Animals! Get them, John, get them! Get me back! I just stay there, get me brick! <laughs> Don't come home till we got dinner. They say that rock looks like a partridge bird. That's where it's named after. Yeah, one bit of advice in this place, it does get intensely hot. I mean, it's not too bad today because it's the cool season, but uh, I've been here other times and you just make sure you bring plenty of water, you know, because the sun's coming straight down on you. There's no real shade and the sun just comes straight back up off the rocks. Baldy Brian, where are you? You've missed out on something, mate. Look at this. You'd have been straight in that pond in a second. <laughs> But that's definitely line work all the way along there. I don't know what it is. Yeah. All the way underneath this stone. I don't know what I'm doing under here. Look, because these stones have been put there to keep this boulder up. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is a well. Apparently it's quite deep. Just cut out of a single piece of rock. See, that's mad. We can mm. see it's chiselled. hundred percent or stonework. Yeah, they would have done that at the same time though. So they've wanted the water to pour this way. So mm. that answers it. That th This rock is not porous because there are right. loads of pools where the water stays, right? Yeah. So it don't sink in. So that's yeah. why I'm about to cut that because the water just comes. Mm. This one's amazing, isn't it? The yeah, shade. Got, uh, Huge. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there was a massive roof of wood that went all the way right. out to the boundary, mate. Yeah. And they were used as pitching holes for wooden pegs. Yeah. Yeah. That's mad. That's what I've, um, I was saying, what are these holes? Yeah. Me too. And, and the perfect squares as well. You've got circles, yeah. perfect yeah, squares. Yeah. This is incredible, mate. Yeah. These little intricately carved Buddhas in here. And this is probably approaching now the most famous, uh, most famous rock. Yeah, I think they call it Ho Nang Utsa, which apparently is, uh, I think a king wanted to hide his daughter away, so he built that to hide her away in. So it looks like they're trying to do a modern reconstruction to perhaps represent what they would have looked like in the past. Great idea. All right, obviously parts of this are original, so it is, I don't know if they're just cleaning it or it looks like a full restoration. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, he says they, haven't, they don't really know what they intend to find because they're only at the top sort of level now and they, they'll just look for what they find as they get deeper. What's the Thai word for very interesting? Kapa wa na son jai ma. Ah, ma ma. Ah, big tag to me is listed. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Document it all. Incredible. Archaeology. Yeah, we're going to pull you, see? It's all new, the, the stuff. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Selling they've got for me, they've got a great job. Oh, he said that he's going to do the job. He said that he's going to do the job. Yeah. 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 In a town called Si Chiang Mai, which is directly opposite Vientiane, the capital of Laos. So that's it over there. That's the capital of Laos.